click through channels and occasionally stumble upon Bravo, especially during the pandemic. And I'd see Million Dollar Listing. And to be honest with you, like I was always put off by the show. I didn't see it as anything real. Of course, it's like reality TV, which means it's always overblown and done up. But our planet is just a reality TV show. I found Ryan Serhant to be kind of an interesting guy. There was something about him that was a little bit not just magnetic, but it was quite real and it wasn't so douchey. As time went on, I noticed he's got a couple of books out and oh, he's got this really cool real estate blog. And I remember specifically there was a time I was in a little bit of a funk during the pandemic because you know it just wasn't as exciting, right? Like and coming to work was really dull because there was only two people showing up to this office, no one was here. And I remember specifically watching one of his vlogs and it was something about how he carries himself and how, how he dresses makes him feel more powerful and it's out of respect for the people that he meets with. Something just changed in me right then. I was like, you know what, tomorrow, I'm gonna wear a suit to work. I'm just gonna do it. And everything changed for me when I put on the suit. I wore a suit that day and I noticed how it changed my state, it changed my mentality, it changed my energy. There was just this massive shift and then I just got entrenched and completely drawn into more of his vlogs and how he was documenting this journey to become the most powerful and well-known real estate brand in the world. And I felt like this really aligned with me because I said, I wanna be the most known and recognized mortgage slash personal finance brand in the United States. That's my goal and I'm not gonna stop until it's done. So I, I felt this alignment with him and I felt like we were buddies but we hadn't even met yet of course because I really like his personality. And so I read both his books, continue to watch his vlogs and then when I found out he's gonna be speaking at this event in Vegas, I was like, we gotta go and we gotta try and get, you know, see if we can meet him. Yes, my man, Grace. What's up, Brian? Yo, I wanted to ask, obviously with family, the show and everything you got going on, work balance. How do you actually keep it all together? Uh, his question was, how do I keep work balance? Like work life balance. I get that question a lot. I wanted to try and see if I could get a collab with Ryan. So a couple weeks before the event, I reached out to his team. Nobody answered. I wrote to him directly because he always says in his vlogs, you can email me at ryan at ryansirhan.com. So I did, it didn't bounce, so I know it went through, but it probably ended up in his spam because he gets millions of emails a day. So when we didn't get the collab or any kind of a, a response, I just figured, you know, that's likely what's gonna happen, but it'll be cool. Maybe I can get a picture with him or find some way to meet him. Minutes before he spoke, because he was the first speaker, out of the 500 attendees, I'd say I think 400 of them were hung over and not even quite there yet. I was like, okay, let me just see if I can do something bold here. Because I spoke at the event that happened two days before Ryan was speaking at this event. And I knew where the speakers go to get backstage. And I was like, maybe they won't stop me. They might recognize me from that day because it's the same staff that was working. I just went back there fully expecting that Ryan was going to be surrounded by an entourage of like 10 people. I opened the door. There's one person with him. It's his videographer, Diego. And Ryan just looks over because he sees the door open. He's maybe like 20 feet away from me. I look at him and I just kind of like froze. I was like, holy shit, it's Ryan Saran. I did this. I go, what's up? And he does it right back to me. And then he just walks right over to me. And I was like, uh, I froze for a bit. And I told him, this is like a surreal moment. He's like, what's up, man? Puts out his hand. I introduce myself. He apologizes to me for not having gotten back to me. Now, I don't know if he had me confused with somebody else. The fact that he even just said it, and I was like, so he did get my email. And how does he even know me? My picture's in it, but how did he recognize me? Like, I have no idea. So I'm pretty sure he was thinking of somebody else, but I still thought it was genuine. We ended up taking this cool selfie because he's like, get your phone out. Let's do a selfie right now. Let's go. So I'm back here in the green room and I'm in with this guy. What's like the red room? The red room. They call it a green room. You were the man. <laughs> go kill it, Ryan. After that was done, we talked for like maybe a minute quickly about how our daughters are roughly the same age and how it's how busy thing life is with a family and growing the biggest real estate brand in the world. And then I wished him luck and told him to go kill it. He went on stage, obviously he did. And then after he was done speaking, you know, I went back there and thanked him for the chat and he shook my hand and he said something really genuine to me. He said, I'm sorry that we didn't get more time to talk. Yeah, for sure. Hey, sorry if it's been more time. I was just blown away by it. It just solidified everything of what I already thought about Ryan and now know about Ryan, which is that he's a real human being. Yes, he's a famous guy. Yes, he's on two TV shows. And yes, he's a multi, multi gajillionaire. But he's also a real human that understands he was in everyone else's shoes at one point. He wants to help others kind of do the same. He wants to inspire other people. And I told him that, that he's been a huge inspiration to me. So it was a very real moment, but it was also kind of one of those feel good moments that reminds you that people that make it to a certain point are still good people. I thought he was a great guy, so I told him that 
I'm gonna reach back out to his team and I wanna get him out here in San Francisco for a big event one day, hopefully in the fall, and we're working on it. We're gonna make it happen. It's just a matter of logistics and, and I'm really, really excited about it. But that was my Ryan Serhant, you know, meet my man crush story. Amazing, that was my celebrity moment, my man crush. I met my man crush today. It was, it was pretty cool. It was definitely surreal and something I'll look back on quite fondly.